In today's video, I'll show you how you can access your NAS from Windows Explorer or your Mac Finder. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, so first things first, we're gonna enable some settings in the NAS itself, and then I'm gonna show you how you can do it for Windows and then later on for the Mac as well. So in the NAS itself, we obviously wanna go to our IP, connect to our NAS, and I'm using the Synology NAS. If you're using a different one, well, it's gonna be a bit different, but in the Synology one, you simply go into control panel over here, and then once you're in the control panel, you simply want to go into the file services right over here, click on that, and then you will see SMB, AFP, and different options right over here. So what we want to do is simply just enable SMB service. This is the most common and mostly used service that works for both Mac and Windows. So you're not really going to have any issues. Enable this. And if you scroll down, you can actually see what it tells you, what you should put in, and how you can actually access your NAS right here. So in the PC, uh, in Windows Explorer, we want to put this, and in the Mac, we want to put that. Let me show you how you can do it for Windows first. All right, so I'm in the Windows Explorer right over here, and now if I want to map this drive right over here, what I can do is I can click on Network, and it's going to ask me, uh, if you're doing this for the first time, it's going to ask you if you want to share your PC to the network and that way you can access your NAS. It's going to be right over here, whatever the name of the NAS is. You can find it. Mine is called Agent NAS. If I click it, I can actually access all the files. Well, if you don't see that and you want to map it to, for example, this PC right over here, you will have to do a map drive. So you, we want to right click on this PC and we want to click on map network drive. So what that does, so it's going to map the letter right over here. As you can see, we have local the C, D, E, F, whatever. We're going to map the letter so we can actually access it like that as well. So you simply just go and put the, whatever drive you want, drive letter, I can use K. So once you choose your letter right over here, we want to choose the folder. So we simply just go back to our NAS and we find what folder it wants us to put in right here. So it says PC slash slash agent NAS. That's the name of my NAS. So I simply put in slash slash agent NAS, or I can simply just click on browse. And then you want to choose which folder do you want to actually have mapped right over here. Because I'm using agent, I'm simply going to choose agent. I click on OK. And now it says slash slash agent NAS slash agent we enable both reconnect to sign in and connect using different credentials. We click on finish. It's going to ask us for our password. We simply put in our uh, you know, NAS password in and make sure to check remember my credentials. Once you click OK, it will be bound to your drive right there. So that was on Windows. Now let me show you how to do it on a Mac. It's a bit different, but still works the same. So we simply want to open up the finder right over here. We go into the top left to go and then connect to server. And then once that opens up, we want to put in whatever it said on the Synology uh, settings. So we just do SMB column slash slash and then the name of the NAS. So once we do that, you can even add it to your favorite servers by clicking on plus and then just click on connect and it's going to connect to the server itself. I already have it connected, so it's going to give me an error, but I have you know, it's set up like this and this only works on a local network. Keep in mind that if you're connecting somewhere remotely, you will have to set up something like a VPN or just open up your NAS by using DDNS or something similar to that. I'm going to go over in another video on how you can connect your NAS remotely. But this is basically how you can set up this to work on both Windows and Mac. It's super simple and super easy. And that's basically it. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my NAS videos, make sure to check this one right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.